everyone. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, good night. Hello. Good night. Hello, uh, good night, sir. I apologize. Me disculpo. Eh, tengo un grupo antes que ustedes, and that's why I was running. Hey, 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 I gotta go, I gotta go. Me tengo que ir porque tengo otro grupo que me está esperando. So, por eso me disculpo. Um, I'm two minutes late. Pero vamos a compensar esos dos minutos, okay? So, welcome, everyone. Um, how are you today? How are you today? Um... My day is very busy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A, be, a very busy day. Okay. Thank you, Jose Arturo. Yeah. Okay. Welcome, Brian Otoniel. Welcome, Marvin. Welcome, Brenda. Welcome, Eric. Welcome, Santos. Welcome, Elsie. Okay. Welcome, everyone. How are you today? How are you? Mm -hmm. How are Hello. you? Hello. I am fine. Okay, nice, nice. Um, my name is Pedro Vasquez. That's my name. And I'm going to be your English teacher for the next coming days. I hope we can learn a lot. I hope we're going to have a lot of fun. Especially, I think um, you like having fun. And that's why we are going to uh, continue um, learning during this module number one, intermediate number one so i feel so happy to have you here and um i guess i'm gonna wait just one more minute probably si tenemos a alguien más que se nos va a unir i'm going to start presenting my presentation uh, because i you need to know an important information about how we're gonna be doing everything during this module intermediate one just give me a second Voy a buscar la presentación para compartirlas, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ok, give me a second, please. All right. So, in the meantime, um, uh, I want to hear from you. Uh, who wants to introduce? Uh -huh. Who wants to introduce? Um, who wants to be, uh, who wants to introduce yourself? Espero que no tengan pena, right? Ajá, espero que lo tengan así como, oh, no, no, I'm afraid, I don't want to speak up. Ajá. Yeah, well, my name is Jose Arturo Ramírez Bernal. Um, I'm 38 years old. Mm -hmm. I live in San Marcos. Mm -hmm. And and I have learned so much. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to give you the pleasure, Jose Arturo, to choose one of your classmates. Choose somebody. Escoja a alguien, Arturo. Wait a moment. Um, let me see. Tenemos a Brian Otoniel, Santos Bolaños, tenemos a Marvin, Brenda, Eric, Fátima, eh. Elsie, Wendy, Ronnie, and Romero Ponce. Uh -huh. Ok, uh, Fátima Adileni. Oh, ok. Uh -huh. Fátima Adileni. Se escucha un poco bien suave. Very, very loud. Very down. Mm -hmm. Can you speak a little bit louder, please? Mm -hmm. What is the question? No, no, no. It's just, it's not, it's not a question. It's just like you are introducing like who you are, where you live, uh, and something fun about you. Probably. About myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Um, hi, uh, good night. My name is Fatima Adileni, but you can call me Adileni. Uh, so I like to spend time with my family and in my free time, I go to the party or go to the beach with my sister and with my cousin. And now I'm, 
I have been work in a micro company of clothes and I am 22 years old. Thank you. Thank you so much, Adeleni. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Adeleni, choose one of your classmates, Adeleni. Okay. Um, Brenda Rivera. Hello, hello, Brenda Rivera. Are you there, Brenda? <laughs> I feel like uh, um, you are a little bit shy today. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. You shouldn't be shy. Uh -huh. Okay. Anyway. Okay. I hope. Um, I, do they have a? Do they have any volunteer? Un voluntario or voluntaria? Me teacher. Go 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 go. Hello class. My name is Eric Colocho, and I live in San Salvador. And I want to learn very much. Nice to meet you Great. all. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Um, thank you. And well, yes, uh, that's what we are here uh, to learn and have fun. Okay. So I guess you have yes. found the right place. <laughs> thank you. All right. Um, Uh, I'm going to start sharing something with you. Okay, uh, I'm going to start sharing something with you. Uh, and this is the presentation that I have for you. So welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Pedro Vasquez, and as I said before, I'm going to be your English teacher. Uh, and this is something about a little bit about me. Um, I have a master's degree in teaching English to speak to other languages. Um, also, I have a bachelor's degree, a bachelor's degree in English. And um, some of my um, work experiences, I actually I'm working right now. I'm from Morazan, by the way. I'm from Morazan, and I work in San Miguel. I work in um, Universidad de Oriente Unido. I'm working over there. And also, I have worked in Binghamton University in New York, where I got my bachelor, my master's degree over there. And also, I have worked at Manhattan College in the Bronx in New York. And also, I have worked at CCSA and Colegio Cristiano Josue. That's a little bit about me. Hopefully, we get along together. <clears throat> we get along very well on this course. So I feel so happy to have you in this course. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Those are some of the requirements that we were told to mention every time we are going to start the class. And I want to say it in Spanish so that everything can be clearer and there is no confusion, okay? Uh, remember, uh, recuerden que tienen que tener un porcentaje de el 80% de sus conexiones a Zoom. Entiendo de que posiblemente eh, quizás algunos trabajen o están desconectados desde su trabajo, puede ser, pero se requiere que tengan el 80% de conexiones Zoom. Eh, claro, si usted me dice, por ejemplo, mire Mr. Pedro um, o mire Teacher Pedro, eh, yo no me puedo conectar X day because I had to work or I gotta do something else and it's impossible for me to join the meeting, I'm, I'm a flexible teacher, so I can understand. But do not forget that I'm going to be uploading the recording to, to, the, to the, the playlist on YouTube, so that in, let's say one day you miss a class, you can easily go the next day on YouTube and watch the class, okay? El otro es um, el porcentaje de asistencia es del 80% en el desarrollo también de su plataforma de ejercicio. Eh, por el momento no tengo el calendario para compartirlos con ustedes, pero una vez lo tenga, pues lo voy a compartir a través del grupo en WhatsApp que tenemos. 
eh, voy a, a, a compartirlos con ustedes, ¿ok? Para que tengan, vayan al día con su, en su plataforma, con los ejercicios. No sé si este es el primer, primer curso que están tomando con inglés corporativo. ¿Es primer curso o ya han venido con los otros cursos anteriores? ¿Sí? En mi caso, sí, uh -huh. teacher. Ya vengo de, desde básico 3. Ok, ok. Entonces, eh, ¿quiénes son nuevos eh, eh, en el curso de inglés corporativo? ¿Quiénes son nuevos en este curso? Todos, todos no, no son nuevos. En mi caso, en... Hola. Sí, en sí, sí. En mi caso, sí es, es primera vez que tengo clases con inglés corporativo. Ah, ok, ok. Asumo de que el resto, pues, no es primera vez, ¿verdad? Y es más, creo que la mayoría son, han sido compañeros anteriormente o no. O es primera vez que se conocen todos. Bueno, en mi caso es primera vez que estoy eh, tomando clases de inglés eh, así con Linsafro por parte de inglés corporativo. Uh -huh. Anteriormente tenía otros cursos, pero era, no eran con, con este nuevo método. Ok, ok, ok. Sí. Brian o Daniel. Hola, buenas noches. Sí, en mi caso igual es primera vez que estoy con inglés corporativo, pero sí anteriormente ya había estado en otros cursos de inglés también de esa forma. Oh, perfecto. Entonces, eh, quizás la plataforma es un poco diferente, pero el resultado es, esperamos que sea el mismo, ¿verdad? Ese es uno de los objetivos que tenemos. Ok, um, I apologize. Um, voy a estar como, digamos, encendiendo y apagando la... La, ¿Cómo se llama? La computadora. Uh, because Wi-Fi connection sometimes is very poor sometimes where I, I am right now. So that's why I'm going to be um, regularly opening my camera and turning off my camera. ¿Ok? Porque yo sé que... Va, vamos a hacer la prueba. Miren. Okay. Um, no sé si se escucha. Sometimes se escucha un poco como cortante cuando... Uh, ajá, se escucha como robot... Ro, uh, how do you say that? Like robotics. Likes, like ajá. Like, 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 uh -huh, exactly. So that's why I'm going to be turning on and turning off my camera so the communication can be better. All right. Okay. Uh, sigamos con el siguiente. La conexión diaria. Eh, ustedes saben que son de 60 minutos la clase. Eh, hay otro curso que es de 120, pero en este caso es de 60 minutos. Según programa. Eh, uno de los requisitos también, y yo creo que eso se los hicieron saber al momento de registrarse, y es que deben de tener su cámara encendida a excepción de um, si están en sus trabajos, eh, si están, no sé, pueden estar en su lugar de trabajo y, o, o digamos un día están recibiendo su clase y van en el bus o algo, pues se entiende, ¿verdad? Se entiende que, que no pueden encender la cámara, pero eh, se les pide que, que pues enciendan su cámara. Además, pues, coloquen su okay. nombre completo, ¿verdad? Si tienen cinco nombres, por favor, con, coloquen los cinco nombres. Se llaman Julanito, Menganito, Sutanito. Pónganlo ahí porque eso va a servir como, como, uh, como registro de que usted ha atendido la clase. Eh, en este caso, la asistencia, pues, no se tomará ya que en la grabación queda. Por eso se, se, se les pide que, que coloquen su nombre, ¿verdad? Su nombre completo. Uh, como usuario porque en la grabación queda, eh, queda grabado quienes atendieron la clase, ¿verdad? Entonces la asistencia yo no la tomo, sino que automáticamente en la grabación ya queda registrado quien atiende la clase. No olviden, por favor, eh, actualizar las notas y para ello pues necesitan estar trabajando en la plataforma que les mencionaba anterior. Y la última es que pues yo sinceramente espero de que eh, tengan una tengan una, una, ¿cómo se llama? Una participación activa, ¿verdad? Es decir, si yo menciono su nombre, por ejemplo, si digo a uh, Fátima, o si digo Santos, o si digo Brian, o si digo José Arturo, pues espero de que por lo menos me diga Pío, ¿verdad? O me diga, mire, sí, le, uh, sí mire, um, Mr. Vázquez, o sí, teacher, o, o no entiendo, teacher, I don't understand. ¿sí? Okay. Pero por lo menos que me diga algo, ¿verdad? No me deja así como que, como cuando hay grillo, ¿verdad? Y que... Y ahí no está. ¿Será que está o no está? ¿Será que está ahí o no está? <ríe> Así que por lo menos se me dice, no tú, entiendo. Tú, tú, tú. Ah, correcto, exacto. Daban. Tú, 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 tú. 
¿no? Cuando se va al internet, que se queda el wifi uno ahí. Vaya, eh, por lo menos pues me digan, teacher, no entendí o no sé o no tengo la respuesta o no tengo, pero por lo menos que me diga algo, ¿verdad? No me deja ahí esperando y digo, bueno. How you say that? How do you say what? Uh -huh. You let me wait in what? Uh -huh. How you say Yeah. Yeah. Um, how we say that? I will say. <laughs> oh, wait. You will say that? What? <laughs> I don't care. Uh -huh. um, if I un don't understand. Oh. I, I will say, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or I don't have the answer. Or I don't know, teacher, what you're talking about. I didn't get anything. Or oh, teacher, I was not paying attention. I was watching my dog. Or teacher, I don't know, but <laughs> but I want you to tell me something. Okay. No me van a salir con el chiste, right? There. Something. <laughs> That's a joke. I don't know if you got the joke. Uh, okay. <clears throat> All right. So thank you. Uh, ya una vez, a ver, uh, que ya vimos los requisitos. So now it's time to start the class. All right. So as I said before, it, it's a great, uh, I feel so happy to have you today. Welcome to the English class. Welcome to intermediate, um, intermediate what? Intermediate one. So um, we were kind of talking about this. We were kind of talking about, um, by the way, can you see my screen? Yes. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. perfect. Yes. 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 <laughs> Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, um, I would like you to think about the following. I already know your name, right? But I, I don't know what thing you like and what thing you don't like. Also, I don't know what your favorite thing is. Okay, I don't know that. And since today we are getting to know each other, I would like you to think about it. Piensen about something that you like, something that you don't like, and one favorite thing. For example, in my case, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it in my case. Uh, my name is Pedro Vasquez. I like running. I don't like, um, hmm, let me see. Oh, I don't like miel de mango. I don't know if you like that, but I don't like miel de mango. <laughs> and my favorite, mm, uh -huh. my favorite series is Peaky Blinder. I don't know if you are, if you know what I'm talking about. That's one of my favorite um, uh, TV show or TV series, Peaky Blinder. So, so that's something, right? Or maybe you can tell me my favorite food is chicken or my favorite sport is soccer. Or my favorite, I don't know. You can tell, you can think about anything. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute, uh, dos minutos, piensen, y voy a crear una breakout rooms para que ustedes puedan compartir eso. Okay, so welcome, vamos a ver, tenemos, oh, welcome Noemi, welcome Wendy, welcome Elmer, welcome Ronnie, vamos a ver a quién más tenemos por acá, Santos, right? Yes. Welcome, Santos. Ok, así que uh, piensen algo que les gusta, algo que no les gusta y algo que es su favorita, alguna cosa que es favorita. Ok, porque uh, vamos a tener una breakout rooms y ustedes van a hablar. Ok, van a ser ustedes hablando. Ok, do you have any question? Um, question? No question, teacher. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Noemi, do you have any question? I see you nervous. Are you nervous? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Romero Ponce, do you have any question? Uh, no, teacher. I, uh, this is a very train. Okay, good, good. Okay, creo que estamos listos. Are we ready? Eh, kind of, kind of. Yeah. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, remember. Ready. You need to tell your name, I like, I don't like, and my favorite, I don't know, my favorite thing, my favorite sport, my favorite food, my favorite, whatever you want to say that is your favorite thing, okay? But we're creating ahorita the breakout rooms, and I want you to speak and use the language, all right? Okay, tengo, vamos a ver, grupos. Okay. Okay, 
I'm going to create four groups, cuatro grupos de cuatro participants. All right. Okay. Okay. I like the I like the room and reading and I don't like the <clears throat> I don't like it uh, I, I don't remember you can do it yeah um my favorite play is soccer. Uh, I don't like some fruits, but uh, uh. in see. Si. <laughs> Quiera, Amy. My name is Brenda Rivera. I like seeing and listening to music. I don't like it pacaya. And my favorite sport is basketball. I have a question, Brenda. What is pacaya? <laughs> I'm sorry. What is pacaya? It's a vegetable. Is it blue, red, green? What color is it? Yellow. It's white. It's yellow. White or yellow? Okay. <laughs> Yellow. Yellow, okay. Is the, is the lechon in the soup chicken? Ah, so you can put it in chicken soup. So. Okay. I heard that it's kind of um, bitter, amargo. Bitter, is that true? Yes, it's bitter. Ah, okay. Okay. So continue. Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> Bueno, quizás sigo yo. Hello, everyone. My name is Brian Otoniel. Um, I like... I like the pizza. I hate... I hate... Um, drive... in San Salvador centers. Um, I I like play guitar and uh, my favorite foods is the vegetables. I hate the celery. I be honest. And I would like to learn more about every classmate. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, why is everybody hello. quiet? ¿Ya terminaron? Did you finish? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. O no, o no han comenzado aún. O no han comenzado aún. <laughs> eh, no, ya cada uno dijo parte de, la, de, la, de, la, de las okay. preguntas. Okay, um, just give me one, uh, a couple of seconds, and then we're going to come back to the main room, okay? Okay, just give me a couple of seconds, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. No okay. Okay, um, 
Do you finish, Wendy? Do you have the chance to talk and share everyone? Yes? Okay. <laughs> Are you okay, Wendy? <laughs> Are you okay, Wendy? Yes. I see you like nice. you, were, you were kind of afraid of or something. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Ah, so so. Nice. Hay un dicho por ahí, right? Que el que se ríe solo ya se sabe, ¿verdad? I don't <laughs> know. That's that's, I don't know if that's yes. true. That's what I heard. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> so thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. And um, let me see. What do you learn from your classmates? What do you learn from your classmates? ¿Qué aprendieron de my su partner? My partner say I don't like Injustice. It's it's nice. Oh, excellent. Okay, thank you. What else? Anyone else? Thank you, Wendy. Anyone else who wants to share something new that you learned or something that you learned from your classmates? Elmer Celaya, what do you learn from your classmates, Elmer? Um, I need practice uh, speak and practice uh, learn different form to write uh, in English. Okay, good. Thank you, Elmer. Thank you. Um, Marvin, what do you learn from your classmates? What do you learn? I think your mic is off. Your microphone is off. Can you turn on your microphone, please? Sorry, sorry. Okay. Hi. Um, for example, from Belmer, uh, I learned his favorite sport uh, is uh, running. Is like uh, it pizza. Uh, I don't remember those Okay, no, that's fine. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you. What about you, Elsie? Elsie Cristina, what do you learn from your classmates? Uh, I learned that one of these. Uh, Claudia, uh, she don't remember, don't don't like the vegetable, and I hate the the whiskey. Okay, I love whiskey. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, that's that. Anyone else? Hay algún voluntario que quisiera um, um, compartir lo que aprendió de sus compañeros? But thank you, Elsie. Who is me? Me? Noemi? Or who? Me. Or Fatima? Oh, Noemi. Okay. Mm -hmm. My partners love pupusas planet de renderos. I don't like garlic. Uh, I like or love listen to music English. Okay. Pupusas with mayonnaise, right? With mayonnaise. Right? <laughs> Without mayonnaise. Awful. No, no, no. Mayonnaise. Will... Listen up, listen up. <clears throat> Pupusas with mayonnaise are the best. You need to try it. No, in your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I always... I had a joke. That's the same joke with all my students. I say because most of my students, including you, uh, most of my students are from Santa Ana, Sonsonate, San Salvador, La Libertad, Cuscatlán, Cabañas, and nobody's from this area. Nobody. And I always keep telling them pupusas with mayonnaise are the best. I said, no, you people from San Miguel are the ones who say that mayonnaise. Mayonnaise doesn't go with pupusas. I said, Pupusa with mayonnaise are the best. He said, no, 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 no. And then I said, well, you need to try it. Si una vez ya lo probaron and you say, no, I respect your opinion. But if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, but um, 
I, I like it. I like it. They are the best one for me, for me, mm -hmm. <laughs> for me, right? For my opinion, like somebody saying there, your opinion. But thank you. Thank you. Uh, maybe next time, if you are around, if you are in San Miguel, if you come to, uh, to the east, to Oriente, I, I kindly uh, invite you to get some pupusas with mayonnaise. And then since that time, you are not going to ask again the other kind of pupusa, the other one. I don't want to even mention it. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for sharing. This is a joke. Don't take it personally. Okay. Um, thank you for sharing your um, opinions. And um, let me do something right now. Um, today we are, thank you. I guess we got to know more about each other uh, because of the time I need to move on and I'm going to skip and we're going to go to that conversation. The conversation is where do you learn to skate? Basically, because today we are going to be learning how to express uh, simple past actions. Okay. We are going to practice verbs and the simple past. That's what we're going to be doing today. All right. Um, I would like you to read for yourself, read this conversation and let me know if there is a new word for you. Si hay una palabra nueva, let me know. Háganmelo saber, por favor. So, léanlo for yourself, para ustedes mismos. Uh, for me, the new word is neither. Okay, okay. Neither is, is new word for me too. Okay, okay, good. Okay, I'm going to underline it. Okay, neither. Uh, what is the meaning? I remember the meaning is the neither is uh, también. Correct? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Um. okay. I'm going to explain that in a little bit, okay? Thank you, Romero Ponce. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there is there any other is there any other word that you don't know? Anyone? No. Okay. So when we are talking about neither, neither am I in this case. Yes, you were right, uh, Romero Ponce. That means también, but we use neither for negative, okay? En español, for example, <laughs> I'm going to give this example. Este es un buen ejemplo. Um, for example, if you say, you know what? No me gusta, but in, in English alguien dice, I don't like pupusas with vinegar, con vinagre. I don't like it. Y alguien dice, a mí tampoco, a mí tampoco, right? O a mí también. So, para eso utilizamos el neither am I. ¿Ok? Pero la cosa es que usually nosotros decimos me too. Por ejemplo, I don't like pupusa. Me too decimos. O I don't like, um, I don't like with skill. Me too. Así decimos, ¿verdad? O no decimos así. Me too, me too, me too. Ok, eso es incorrecto. Ok, eso es incorrecto cuando decimos, cuando alguien está en negativo diciendo algo y decimos, and we say me too. That is incorrect. For example, when we say, um, I don't like soccer. That's an example. I love soccer. Okay. But an example, I don't like soccer. And somebody else says, me too. Eso está equivocado. So, ¿cuándo vamos a utilizar me too? Ah, it's when we say positive sentences. Like, for example, I like Barcelona. Me too. I like pupusas. Me too. I am a teacher. Me too. ¿Sí? Todas las positivas van a ir con me too. Sin embargo, todas las negativas, por ejemplo, look, si ven acá, I'm not very good at this. Y miren la respuesta, neither am I. ¿Por qué utiliza el am aquí? O oh, porque es el mismo que se utilizó aquí. Ok, and no worries, no se preocupen, en el próximo módulo, si no es en este, vamos a hablar de esto, ok, so no worries, neither am I, neither can I, 
neither do I, etc. Right? Pero ese es neither am I, it's el negativo que utilizamos a mí tampoco o a mí también. Ok. Teacher, right. teacher I'm going to ask a question. I yes, have a yes. question. Mm -hmm. The neither am I uh, is question or only negative? Oh, it's not a question. It's not a question. It's just a negative form. Ok. It's not okay. a question. It's a negative form. Ok. Es lo que nosotros decimos a mí tampoco. Por ejemplo, no me gusta el whisky. Ah, oh, a mí tampoco. Ok. Eso es. O si usted dice, no soy, no soy un buen cocinero. Ah, yo tampoco, dice. Ahí es. I'm not a good cook. Neither am I. ¿Sí? Neither am I. But it's not a question. No es una pregunta. Ok. By the way, I'm a good cook. I think. I know how to cook chilaquila, so I guess I'm a good cook. All right. Mm -hmm. Teacher. <laughs> yes. Teacher. Yes, yes. Eh, eh, please refresh. Eh, so do I. También es yo también. Yes. Eh, okay. Eh, en ese caso. Okay, good. That's a good question. All right. When we say so do I, es una oración como, okay, let me type in the chat. Voy a escribir en el chat ahorita. Okay. I like what? Mm, I like San Salvador, let's say. If you are speaking to a friend, okay, if you are speaking or talking to a friend, you say, me too. Okay? But if you are talking to a very important person, let's say your boss, let's say somebody that it has a higher hierarchy, una jerarquía más grande, and you respect that person. It's más, mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you say, so do I. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué dice so do I? Because so do I, it's formal. ¿Ok? Oh. And me too, it's informal. Informal. Me too, informal. And so do I, formal. ¿Ok? Formal, no... Ok, una okay. pregunta. Yo, el módulo pasado lo vimos. Uh -huh. Pero no lo entendí, o el antepasado, no me acuerdo. No, no entendí que era formal, sino como más, como nativo o algo así. Mm -hmm. Yes. Porque te oía should... un poco mejor. Exactly, exactly. Okay. The thing is, you have to choose, when we are speaking English, we, when we are basically speaking, we want to sound more fluent. Queremos sonar más flu, uh, okay. flu, tener fluidez. Fluidez. And that way, mm -hmm. yes, we use me too. But in writing, más formal, más fancy, más como de caché que decimos nosotros, ¿ok? Se oye raro si en una conversación donde hay gente importante, dice, me too, me too. Sin embargo, si usted dice, oh, so do I. Oh, dice, esa persona tiene caché. Esa persona oh, habla wow. muy, muy <ríe> educativo, ¿ok? Eso es, ¿ok? Eso es lo que usted aprendió en el módulo anterior, ¿ok? Utilizamos Thank so do you. I porque es, es muy formal y suena muy fancy, ¿ok? Muy lujoso, muy uh, de caché. Uh -huh. Pero ambas opciones okay. están correctas. Solo be careful, because if you are talking to your friend, si está hablando con su amigo, pues solo dices, me too. Thanks. Yes, Fátima. Uh -huh. Thanks. Uh -huh. Coach, um, either is the same, neither. Uh -huh. Yes. Wow, that's a very uh, interesting topic, ¿ok? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here to help you. Even though I can skip the topic that I have for you today, I can teach you that. Okay, look, um, I'm going to stop sharing. Voy a escribir algo acá. Okay, let me start sharing my. Hmm? Okay, un mango. Mm -hmm. Vaya. Listen, uh, can you see my whiteboard? Puede ver mi whiteboard acá? Sí? Sí? Yes. yes. Okay, good, good. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. I can see. Okay, excelente. Bye. Mm, let me see. Mm, okay, I guess I'm going to use my whiteboard. All right. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do it right here on the other side. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. I'm about to do that, all right? 
Solo denme un minuto nada más. Ok, right here. Ok, voy a compartir pantalla en este momento. Share screen. I'm here. Ok, pueden ver mi pantalla en este momento. It's yes. black. Oh, now, yes. What about now? Yes. Ahora, now. Ok, good. Ok. Cuando tenemos una oración, for example, we say, um, we have two choices, right? We have two choices. We can say neither, como el ejemplo que está allí, neither or either. Ok, imagínense que la oración sea la siguiente. I don't like pupusas. Es un ejemplo, right? Ok. Y yo le digo a Wendy, Wendy, I don't like pupusas. Y Wendy tampoco le gustan las pupusas. O so, decir, Wendy is gonna say, ella quiere sonar muy fancy, ¿verdad? Ok. Ne, uh, uh, ella me puede decir, es un ejemplo, Wendy. Yes, yes. Ejemplo. Ok. Eh, vamos aquí lo poner, I'm gonna type Pedro. Ok. En Wendy. Ok. Wendy. Ok. Wendy, ok. Neither. Ok. Neither. Neither, um, no, ok, en este caso es do no. porque estoy utilizando el do. ¿Se acuerdan que yo les dije acá? Um, yes. Yo utilizo el mismo, ok. Si en I este caso, en este caso acá yo estoy utilizando am, ¿por qué? Porque aquí estoy utilizando am, ¿sí? I'm not oh, very good. Y en este caso yo estoy utilizando do, por eso estoy utilizando el otro do acá, ¿ok? Um, ok. So, yes. Wendy has... Two choices. Wendy tiene dos opciones. ¿Cómo me puede contestar? Ok. La siguiente forma es la siguiente. Look. Wendy me puede decir. Neither do I. Or. Wendy me puede decir. Um, I don't either. Ajá. No sé si vieron eso anteriormente. So you have two choices. Me puede decir. Neither do I. Or. I don't either. Ok. Either. Ajá, either. Ok. Listen up. Aquí también hay que, hay que tener mucho cuidado. There are two pronunciations. Hay dos formas como podemos pronunciar esto. Por ejemplo, la palabra neither la podemos pronunciar como neither or neither. Neither mm. or neither. The same happened with either. You can, you can say either or either. So you choose. Ustedes escojan cómo quieren escucharse mejor. Ok. Eh, no sé si le respondí su, su pregunta um, a Fátima. Yes, coach. Ok. But the both, both, both forms are correct. Right. Yes. Ok. It's sí. A... Uh -huh. okay. Thank you. Right. Imagínense que estas dos formas es lo que sustituye a que lo que nosotros siempre decimos, ¿verdad? Me too, decimos a todos. Me too, decimos a ambos, ¿verdad? Va a ser lo que decimos. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si, si escuchamos una oración que dice, I don't like with kill, me too, dice la, decimos, ¿verdad? ¿Sí o no? Yes. Uh, yeah. Me yes. too, dice. Pero si dice, I don't like with kill, usted puede decir, oh, neither do I. Or, I don't either. ¿Ok? Are we good with that? ¿Estamos claros con eso? Yes, thank yes. you. Yes. Okay. So maybe, you know what? Maybe I can prepare, I can think about, I can bring a topic. I can bring a topic one day and we can discuss all of that. Puede ser en un review. En un fin de sección podemos revisar eso y aprender cómo podemos, por ejemplo, podemos decir, I can't either. I shouldn't either. I don't either. Porque es dependiendo cómo, qué auxiliar se ocupa en la oración. Por ejemplo, si digo, I can't cook. No puedo cocinar. Oh, oh man, neither can I. ¿Sí? Neither can I. ¿Sí? Can I. Ajá. Es decir, oh, you know what? I like pizza. Oh, I mean, I don't like pizza. Man, neither do I. ¿Sí? Neither, neither, neither do, do I. Sí, ¿por qué utilizo do? Porque ya estoy diciendo I don't like pizza. Ajá. Ok, depending on 
basically it's depending the, on the sub the auxiliary verb. Look, I cannot dance. See? ¿Cómo sería ahí? Neither. Neither what? Si digo I cannot dance. Neither can. Sí. I. Neither can I. Ajá. Neither can I. Right. Si yo digo, por ejemplo, I, ok, vamos a, uh, vamos a ver, I don't like pizza. Vamos a ver. I don't like pizza. ¿Cómo sería? Neither. Neither do I. Oh, Neither good. Do I. Very good. Ok. La oración es, I am not a teacher. I'm a teacher. Un ejemplo. ¿Cómo sería? Neither. Neither. Neither I am. Am I? Neither am I. Ok. Am I. Ok. So, sí, sí. Si depende del auxiliary verb que yo utilice, es el que voy a utilizar en la respuesta. Neither, neither am I, neither do I, neither can I, etc. ¿Ok? O por ejemplo, look, en pasado. Eh, bueno, no sé si manejan el pasado, pero es el tema que vamos a ver hoy. Pero supongamos que digan, I yes. didn't, ajá, I didn't go to my work. I didn't, ah, ok, I didn't work today. Vamos a ver, I didn't work today. Neither, neither, neither what? Yeah. Neither, neither did I. I. Neither. Ah, neither ah, did I. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so every time, depending on the auxiliary, el, el auxiliar, dependiendo del auxiliar que yo ocupe en la oración que diga, así voy a responder. So, pero en este caso, ustedes tienen que escuchar carefully. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, I didn't, yes. ah, ustedes van a responder con didn't. Si yo digo, Kent, Did. ustedes van a utilizar con Kent, ¿ok? Sí. Can. All right, so I, I'm sorry that was not the topic, but I felt that that was very important to clarify. Ok, ahora sí vamos al tema de hoy, vamos al tema de hoy. Okay. Ten minutes. Yeah, we have only ten minutes, yeah. Me van a colgar las orejas. No, but your class is nice. <laughs> Thank nice you. Nice review. No, yeah, this, is, this was a short review okay okay but i guess i'm not gonna take a long because um because basically when we are talking about the simple past remember cuando estamos hablando del pasado podemos utilizar el verbo to be verdad mm -hmm. yes right? okay i use i you i with was right singular you with were was she okay i she he she, and it he, I use it. was, right? It was. However, I can use we, you, they, and it's where. They. Right? For example, uh, vamos a ver, me pueden dar una oración uh, utilizando where. For example, you can tell me, you can tell me, I was, um, I was a student last year. See? ¿Sí? See? ¿Sí? I was what? Yes. Can you tell me something? I was a what? A teacher. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I was what? I was, I was learning English the last years. Ah, okay. I was learning English last year. Okay. Good. English last year. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another example. What about with she? She, she what? She? Um, I she was. Well, let's see. She where or she was? She was. She was what? She was. She was from the gym. Oh, she was from the gym. Or she went to the gym. Oh, no, or she was at the gym. She was at the gym. Uh, she was at the gym. She okay. was. Okay. Vamos a ver ahorita con they. Remember, estamos expresando oraciones en pasado con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? What about they? Yes. They what? They, they was or they were? Identifiquemos a dónde está they. They were. They were. Oh, they sí. were. O sea, they were. Solo no se, les olvide, were. no se les olvide esto. Que estos son plurales. We, you, and they. ¿Son qué? Vamos a utilizar qué? Plurals. Plural. Plural. Plural nouns. Y cuando tengamos Plural. I, she, he and eat, vamos a utilizar el singular was. ¿Ok? 
Sin ok, sí. Ok, quiero que me escriban una oración, ya sea con singular o plural. Vamos al chat, por favor. I want you to go to the chat and type one sentence. Ya sea utilizando was or using where. Mm -hmm. I want Vamos a ver, tenemos a Eric Colocho. They were. Um, ¿Cómo me traduce er, Eric Colocho? ¿Cómo me traduciría esa oración? Ellos fueron a comer pizza. Oh, so ahí en este caso no sería, porque ahí lo que usted me está diciendo es: ellos estuvieron a comer pizza. Estuvieron, exacto, tienes razón. Oh, entonces ahí sería, ajá, entonces sería. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Entonces, uh, try to fix that sentence. Ok, Colocho. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, thank you. Vamos a ver, Brian O'Toniel. Uh, I was in my job in the morning. Good. Good example, Brian. Vamos a ver, Fátima. Fátima Dileni. They were learning English last year. Good. Vamos a ver, Elsie Cristina. They were at the park. Good. José Arturo Ramírez. They were... Ok, en ese caso sería, José Arturo, sería, ellos estaban jugando. They were playing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Playing. Oh, they okay. played. Ajá, good. Vamos a ver, Romero Ponce. They were running. Ok. Vaya, um, veo que hay una pequeñita confusión ahí. Vaya. En inglés, ok, voy a bajarla acá. En inglés, en el, vaya, paren de escribir las oraciones y, y miren el chat, por favor. En inglés está lo que se llama el simple past y el past continuous. ¿Verdad? ¿Han escuchado de eso? Yes. Continuous. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre el simple past? Simple past, por ejemplo, I was at the gym. ¿Sí? Ese es el simple past. I was at the gym. Y el pasado continuo, I was doing exercise at the gym, ¿sí? ¿Ven la diferencia? Entonces, ahorita estamos solo hablando del simple past, ¿ok? Simple past. No estamos hablando del past continuous. Sus oraciones están correctas, ¿ok? Sus oraciones están correctas, solo que ahorita estamos focusing on the simple past, ¿ok? ¿Ok? But your sentences are correct. Thank you for sharing your sentences. Vamos a ver, Wendy, I was in my office yesterday, good. Vamos a ver, Elmer, um, I was living in Santa Ana last year. Ok. Uh, Brenda, I was doing two exercise. I was doing an exercise at the gym. Ok. I was learning English at night. Claudia, he was to visit. He was to visit grandmother. Oh, en este caso, Claudia, lo que usted quiere decir, creo, lo que usted me quiere decir es que ella fue a visitar a su abuela, ¿verdad, Claudia? Yes, Claudia. Bye. Noemi, she was born yes. in San... Ok. Entonces, en este caso sería a uh, Claudia. She went. Mm -hmm. Ella fue. She went. Ahí um, sería otro verbo. Pero, pero thank you for your sentence, ok? Vamos okay. a ver, Ronnie. Thank I was reading a book. I was to cook the dinner. Brenda Rivera. Um, ¿Qué es lo que... que ¿Qué me quiere decir ahí, uh, Brenda? I was to cook the dinner. ¿Me quiere decir que ella fue a cocinar o que ella cocinó? Mm -hmm. Brenda. Sí, que cocine la cena. Oh, en ese caso entonces Brenda sería I cooked the dinner. Sí, I cooked the dinner. So, ahorita prácticamente. Regular lo que estamos... verb. Ajá, exactly. Regular verb. Excellent. Ahorita estamos simple past con el verbo to be. Eso es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. Sí, simple past. Remember que para he she and it tenemos que was y para they Using was they we you they we you tenemos que tenemos where por ejemplo he was at the hospital sí at the hospital okay they were at the hospital sí okay ¿Estamos ahí claro? Sí. Yes. He was at the hospital. Oh, clear. Ok. They were at the hospital. Very good. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, cuando vamos a hacer una pregunta con el simple past, vamos a ver, let me check the time. Okay, let me check the time. What time is it now? Oh, we had two minutes. All right, we had two minutes. Okay, I guess to conclude the class, to conclude the class, what I want you to do is the following. I would like you to write a sentence using what? He, she, con was, con was y ya sea you, con where. Por ejemplo, solo quiero que me hagan una oración con el simple past, was and where. Ok. Was and where. Tell me a sentence, please. Oh, you know what? You can tell me. Let's change it. Díganme a dónde estaban ustedes en la mañana. Ok. Díganme. For example, look at my example. I was at the university in the morning. Ok. Escriban ahí en el chat. Por ejemplo, in my, in my case, I was at the university or in the university. I was in class. Good. I was to work. Mm, Claudia, en ese caso sería, I was at work. Yo estaba en el trabajo, Claudia. Let me see, Colocho. I was at my job. Okay. Brenda, I was in the office. Good. Miguel, I was at the work. Good. Elmer, I was in C CNR. Good. Brian, I was in the office. I was in the office, Ronnie. Thank you. I was in the office. Marvin, I was driving. I was driving to Uber. Fátima, I was at the work. Excelente. Muy, muy bien. Okay. Muy, muy bien. All right. So, mañana, oh, algo que se me olvidó mencionarles al fin, al principio y fue, eh, yo sé que la, la que ustedes firmaron al principio y es la asistencia. Si ustedes saben, en este curso hay una semana de vacación. Yeah, yeah, vacation. Ajá, tenemos yeah. una semana de vacación. Lastimosamente, les a le va a tocar tener clases. No, I'm just kidding. Ah, you are lying. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just kidding. Estoy bromeando. No, no, no. Pero no va a haber clases esa semana de vacación, que es la semana del 11, si no me equivoco, la semana del 18, si no me equivoco. ¿Ok? El detalle está este. Dado que el curso se debe de terminar, debemos de cubrir esos días que no vamos a recibir clases. Por lo tanto... Por lo tanto, on Fridays, we are going to have classes. Y usted me puede decir, pero mire, ahí decía, ajá, yes. pero ahí, ajá, y usted me puede decir, pero mire, ahí decía que de lunes a jueves. I know, I know, pero como les expliqué, por la vacación, y yo creo que no quieren tener clases en vacaciones ustedes, o sí. I don't want to have classes on vacation. Ajá, entonces, por ese motivo, por ese motivo, vamos a tener clases los viernes para cubrir los días de esa semana completa. Vamos a estarlos cubriendo durante los viernes. Eh, on voy a mandar, Fridays. On Fridays, exactly. Les voy a mandar la información al chat y es la información que nos mandó el jefe para que la compartiéramos, para que ustedes vean qué días, qué viernes son los que vamos a estar acá reuniendo. So, eso significa que vamos a estar de lunes a viernes. I know, los viernes I... solo lo vamos a estar de oyentes, teacher. Ah, bueno, le voy a tirar un cuete ahí para que se despierten, porque I want you to be active. Es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. You can tell me that, tell me that, yeah, tell me, tell me that. But anyway, I'm here to help you out. Okay, um, because of the time, we, I gotta go. I want to say thank you for showing up. Thank you for coming to the class. And tomorrow, vamos a entrarle con todo al simple past. Tomorrow, okay, and we are going to learn something okay. here tomorrow. Okay, okay. great. So thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. It was a great pleasure to meet you today, and hopefully we are going to learn a lot during this course. Okay. Si no hay nada más, okay. Eh, okay. los veo mañana. Thank Have you. a great night. Okay. Thank you. Have a great night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye bye.